In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most free-to-play way to grind the police chest inside of the police HQ, in which you'll be able to get a huge police cat if you are lucky enough. If you want to enter any future huge giveaways, make sure to follow these four steps. Number one, you want to like the video as always. Next, you want to subscribe to the channel because if you aren't subscribed, you are not going to win any huge pets. Number three, you want to watch the video all the way till the end so you don't miss out at the best ways to get OP inside of Pet Simulator 99. And last but not least, number four, you want to comment down your Roblox username uh, for a chance to win the huge pet. And with that, good luck. All right, so I actually made a similar video to this previously, but it was more so like generalized and, you know, for everybody really. But this video is more dedicated for the free-to-play people. So as you can see, this is pretty much what I stirred up and this is what you pretty much uh, want. Uh, the cheapest thing is pretty much going to be a few thousand gems. So that is really uh, cheap, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, I have, you know, tier nines of these uh, three books, the Strong Pets, the Treasure Hunter, and the Criticals. But uh, you can actually get, you know, cheaper versions which aren't much worse than these three right here as you can see so you can probably get like you know tier sevens or if you really don't have that much gems you can actually just go for the tier sixes so as you can see these ones are under a thousand gems i think everybody can afford these apart from lucky eggs but you don't need lucky eggs uh you don't also need diamonds you just need pretty much strong pets uh treasure hunter and critical so if i if you wanted to this to be completely free to play uh you know very cheap all i would do is just pretty much do this and that's pretty much the loadout right here and then moving on, we have the magnet, which I supposed to be magnet three. I don't know why I put a magnet two there. Uh, yes, you want magnet three. The reason why is because you want to pretty much, uh, you know, be able to stay in the middle, and you don't want you know any like uh, drops or whatever uh, lying on the outside, or, like on the you know on the far end. You pretty much want everything to be collected from the middle. And I really discourage you guys from using the magnet flag because that thing does not pick up drops from my, what I heard. So definitely don't do that. You want to pretty much stay in the middle if you don't have. If you don't have super magnet then yeah you definitely want to just stay in the middle right there and so yeah this the magnet book is uh the, the tier three is going to be the best uh pretty much option for you also the speed five is really op it's going to pretty much boost your pet speed which is insane i mean that's pretty good for something that's only 53 gems very nice uh, and also i put i put on the lightning bug which actually you know you can actually send bolts to nearby breakables uh so pretty much you know you can actually break these a lot faster i'm not stacking any of these like i'm not putting like two strong pets or like you know and anything like that because i want to you know make this the most optimal as possible and then lastly you have the happy pets which i heard does definitely help out a ton by making you know pets faster and also attack a lot quicker so it's also pretty good but if you're free to play you're not going to have six slots like i do if you are like a hardcore free to play player you're going to have at most five of these so at that i would just recommend you know don't use the landing bug uh instead of use these other ones as you can see right here that would be the best uh way to actually do that uh if you only have four slots for example what i'd recommend removing is going to be like the happy pets and then if you have only like three slots then i would recommend taking out the magnet book uh but yeah definitely want to try uh, aim for five slots if you are free to play you know it might be grindy but you know you'll definitely make it there and once again i can't stress this enough you definitely want to use up all you know all of all the potions so as you can see treasure hunter potions you want to use up a bunch of these uh damage potions coin potions uh, i guess cocktail can also use and then you also want to go into items and then use up uh these toys as well as uh, all of these fruits uh, as you can see and then if you have flags you want to use either the strength flag if you don't if you don't really have like any of these three the rainbow shiny or the exotic these three are pretty much going to be the most op but if you don't have any of these three you, you can you should definitely pretty much use the strength flag because that's going to increase your strength by up 50 percent on all pets and it's going to increase the damage that you do on the police chest and as you can see i'm doing that quite a ton and there we go we got a lot of loot right there um got a, like a prison uh, key surge right there unfortunately no huge but the more often you do this the higher chance you'll have of getting the huge pet and if you want to know the best way to complete the bank keys to minigame inside a pet simulator 99 make sure to check out this video